as you can see here, I've taken my clutch apart. I wasn't happy with the way it was shifting. I felt that it was a little hard up shifting. So I took it apart and I checked the plates and uh, I measured them with uh, calipers and they check out okay. The only thing I can see is take a look at the one that's got the uh, one of the plates here. Right here the fiber. I don't know. It's kind of a little odd looking. It's almost like it's been dragged. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like it's, I don't know. And on the inside here, the metal, it's a little discolored. Not sure if that would cause any issues. But I took it apart. Here's the clutch springs right here. Those are fine. Uh, actually, they're measuring uh, better than spec. So I got a feeling this clutch has been redone before and it's got new clutch springs. Uh, as these ones are pretty uh, tight. And that could explain why the upshift is a little hard on the toes. It's because of the uh, clutch spring. Because the, uh, the stiffer the spring, the harder the shift. Um, so that could explain why. But, you know what, since I've got this thing apart, I ordered new plates. I did not order new springs because they're fine. I measured them and with my calipers and they're fine. But for the price of the uh, plates, I figure what the heck. So I ordered new plates and I should be getting them pretty soon. And I'll put the uh, clutch back together. And uh, my next video, hopefully, will be of the bike running and uh, me test riding the bike. So uh, anyway, I got um, a new brake cable coming. I broke the one that uh, I have so the brake cable right here as you can tell I broke it it was rotten and that's for the rear brakes the handle so I got a new one coming and I figured you know what let's change the front and back brakes also so I got new uh, pads coming for the front and for the back also get that done may as well and bought a couple other things too, some tools and whatnot that will make it a little easier for rebuilding the next one. Like I said previously before, um, this one, the one I'm working on, is a uh, 1973 or 74 around there. And this one is a 1977. So that one's going to be a little different. But uh, that one there I'll probably start in the fall. Uh, I'd like to take some of the summer and be able to use this one and then one and then also use the big one my big rm so um yeah everything's coming along pretty good also you take a peek right here get the case off right for the clutch so you can see the big gear right here and whatnot everything looks good so uh quite happy with that same time i took out my screen right here and uh, cleaned it out Quite happy I did because there was a lot of junk on it. Um, I don't know where it came from, but I cleaned it all up anyway. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So looking forward to testing this thing out. So for the little bit I had it running, it ran good, but I really haven't had it on the trails yet to ride it and see how it handles. So uh, if everything goes well, I'll have this ready pretty soon. That's it for now.